It's such a pleasure to meet you, sir. Does it look like a special day for you? We are in the vehicle on our way to church where our special man of the day, our grandfather, our daddy, he is going to be you know, giving that kind of treats that he deserves to have for marking his 80th birthday on earth. Oh, Grishi. Daddy, Owo Kolo. Sir, say hello to the camera. Uh, hello. <laughs> so, today is a special day. We're happy for you and uh, we're wishing you success in our head. Thank you very much. Okay, sir. And beside him is a good friend of us, a fantastic family friend, none other than. Hello, Mike. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, Happy New Year to all of you. Oh, and so, we're wishing um, Ogweshi J.I.L. Rokolo a lovely, happy 80th birthday. And we're wishing him many, many, many more years in good health. Ahead. If there is one thing about history that you would love him to tell us, what is that one thing you would love to hear? History of Nigeria. <laughs> Okay, so it is the history of Nigeria. We'll be doing more of that as we go on. Stay with us. We are already eating this morning, Okoya. Put her inside the pulling van. Yes, the factory food. It's good food. So red, ready here. I let us my have a chair for two It's all right. Yeah, there. Ready? I must appear. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, too. So, can I get to meet all of you one at a time and then introduce yourself how you're connected to Daddy? Today is Daddy's 80th anniversary. He's your grandfather. Yes. Do you happen to know the name of your grandfather? Yes. If I ask you what's the name of your grandfather, what would you say? John. What's the name of your grandfather again? John. John? That's how you know him as? Is that his full name? No. So what's your grandfather's John full name? John Obwefi Wonkolo. Obwefi is also part of his name? No, no, no. <laughs> so, me, me. Yes. Chief John Ogweshi. Ogweshi John J I L Wonkolo. Say, so what's your name? My name is Soju Gerald. So how are you connected to them? They are my friend from London. And Kanye is my friend from Asaba. They are cousins. Oh, your cousins. Mm -hmm. So when you say your cousins, um, cousins by the mothers or cousins from the father's side? Which one are your cousins? 
No, he's my friend and he's my brother. I'm um, his cousin and he's his friend. Ah. My name is Michael Uzoma Ikediashi. My name is, you know, all people know me. My name is Agumaro Kanye Kanye Chukwekele Norma David. And you are? My name is Chukoka. Chukoka? I don't know. Uh -huh. And you are? Nasa Stefan Ikediashi. You all seem like very shy guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not shy? No. Okay. That is having his celebrity's 80th birthday, isn't it? It's a big thing. Yes. Is there a question you would have loved to ask daddy about history? Okay. Is there a question you'd like to ask? Uh, no. Actually, what's the one thing about history you would love to learn to ask from your daddy, for example? What school, school did he go to? What did he? What school did he go to? Okay, you would like to find out what school he went to. What other question do you have for your grandfather? When he was a child, what did he want to become when he's older? And is he pleased of what he's done in his past life? Wow, up to this point of his yes. life, isn't it? Yes. Okay, any other questions for grandfather? I wonder how... Where was grandpa? Where was grandpa born? Where was he born? He's 80 today. Can you make the mathematical calculation? 80, 80 years ago. Not oh when, goodness. where. <laughs> no, where 80. was he born? Yes, That's where? what you'd like to know. Okay, mm -hmm. where he was born. And you? How did he survive the... How did he survive the trip to London? The trip to London? Which well, time are you talking about? When he not When he was small. When he was small. University. Ah, okay. So you all have lots of questions to ask grandfather. Yes. And I should ask him all of these questions. Yeah. Yes, what do you have, Stefan? How was it like in World War One? Any other final questions for him? No. Yes, yes, yes. I'm waiting. How does he make his books? And how does he get the, in, in not, uh, and not Inspiration, you mean? Energy. The knowledge or energy? Knowledge to get all these ideas from his head and the drawing from his books and all the. But because actually he can't draw. He can't draw. Okay, yeah. so you're wondering how he got them? Yes. I'm sure maybe, for example, yes, Michael okay. could be helping with the drawing, wouldn't you? Yes. So, what gift from your daddy do you think you got? Is there a talent that daddy has that you think you got any of you? Let me I tell got. You. What talent did you get? Oh, you love football too. I mean, football is like a given for everybody. So it's not spice. It's not a particular thing, is it? But he likes football. Yes, he likes to read his paper and I like to read his Is that true for you guys too? No, but you're not saying it. So tell me. Well, no, I don't like to read newspapers. <laughs> I like to read the news on my phone. On your phone? Okay, so you read on your phone. I like to read it on the TV. Okay, on TV. All right, guys. So thank you so much. I'll be seeing you all in there. Bye. Bye. So we're still celebrating Ogweshu Wokolo's 8th year anniversary. It's a big deal. But anyway, I have a friend in the house here. Hello. Please introduce his name to us. My name is Samuel Obama. I'm a friend of the family. Friend of the family. How long have you known Daddy? Like 18 years. 18 all years? Oh, almost all your adult life then, in addition. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So if you're going to ask Daddy a question back in time in history, what's that one question you would love to have an answer to? In fact, I will ask him how he managed to handle the show. Why is that crucial? Yeah. Why? Is it in because terms of numbers or what? No, it's not easy. I have to be right now. And I know it's not easy to handle the people that are actually at the age to handle five of them at that age in adulthood. I don't know. I would like to find that one out for me. <laughs> you know, he wrote a book, The Journey So Far. It's a historical reference to back in time. I don't know, did you happen to read that book or have a glimpse of what the book is about? I have, I have a glimpse of it and uh, he talks about his life experience and all that. I think the book is very rich. It's rich, right? Yeah. Is there anything you want to pick from that book that historically was significant you think is good to share with the public? I cannot pick up anything right now, mm -hmm. but I know the book is very interesting. Okay, so if you're going to ask him a question back in history, something you would really love to have an answer to that is historical, what would be that question? Um, his managerial skill. I would love to know how he managed to handle that too. Oh my, he is a bookish type, isn't it? A pleasure to have you on board, Sam. We're still on 8th anniversary of Ogweshi GIL Owokolo. Stay with us.
So I finally caught someone taller than I am. By the way, how tall are you? 6'5, six 6'5. Five, six five. No wonder he beats me to it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, who are you? Introduce yourself. So my name is John Paul Afamokolo. I'm the son of the celebrant today, by the grace of God. I'm here to celebrate all right, awesome dad. I'm already feeling envious. <laughs> so tell us, how is it being like for you regarding with daddy's celebrities at uh, ATM? What is the one wish you wish for daddy? Let me just summarize that. I wish him good health, mind and body. I wish him prosperity. I wish him a successful children that will be able to look after him at his old age. And uh, just generally wisdom, not, uh, all the blessings from God for today. Okay, now back to the real deal. You saw his book, The Journey So Far. Right. Tell me you've read it. I'm <laughs> um, still reading it actually. I'm still reading it. Okay. I haven't finished. Because okay. I just got the copy not quite long ago. So okay. I'm still trying to process all the information there. The few you've read, the bit you've just glimpsed through as it is, what struck you most so far about the historical relevance? Right. So, um, First of all, it's all about bringing back the history of how the, the, the amalgamation of the Northern and Southern Protectorate. It's all about bringing about that history, the knowledge that we've been able to gather, he has been able to gather over a period of time. I know he has told the story to us a couple of times. But, I mean, it was like an advice that he, I mean, it, he was better off documenting all that information. So it's all about, you know, revisiting that history and telling it to the, the, the younger generation. So if you have a question to ask Ogweshi, what would that question be? Um, a historical question, by the way. That's a good one. I found it in trouble here. <laughs> um, okay, so um, one of my basic, my major question would be, what was his role? I really want to know more about the Civil War, his role. I mean the Biafran War. I want to know more about that. I, I would like to see him document that as well. I want to be able to ask him more questions about the Biafran War, the Civil War. That's something I would really, really, really want to see him do. And that is one of the questions we're going to be asking a Gracie G I L or work on it. Want to know more? Don't go away.
You've done so much for me I cannot tell you so
excitement and so much happiness in the air and Ogweshi Nwokule is here with us sir congratulations again on your eighth year thank you very much we just finished with the church service yes. how did that go for you beautiful 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 <laughs> I'm very happy you can see me yes you look excited now we might have to drink too much today <laughs> <laughs> so we should expect more drinks, eh? Yes, All the points. Yes, yes. I heard earlier on Mike talking Every about year. pan wine. Pan no, wine, how, how chill is our pan wine? Huh? How chill is our pan wine? Oh, is it ready? It's ready. Very ready. Very ready. Okay, fantastic. Very ready. <laughs> so, Daddy, a lot of people commented on how healthy you look. A lot of women actually said they want to be as good as you are at 80. What's your secret? Do you want to share that with us? Well, you keep praying to God, live a good life and make sure everything is uh, not excessive. Um, oh, not everything is not excessive. Uh, you know, like drinking too much, mm -hmm. eating too much. Mm -hmm. I eat twice a day, since 1975. Twice a day? Twice a day. Morning, take my uh, breakfast. After my breakfast, I now go to work. I, I take my drugs, go to work. One more person. When I come back, and I eat. I come back sometimes 5 o'clock, so I don't need to eat again to go to bed. Wow. Because after eight o'clock, anything you eat now will be nothing. Right. It will not digest. Okay. You know, and then keep continue to pray to God. Make sure that uh, you do your best. Help people. You know. I train a lot of real uh, fathers now. Good afternoon. You know, every year I send money to, to the for the uh, endowment okay. for the training. Okay. So give to God what you have, and uh, give also to the needy. Because you don't know when you you, you will need, right? So that God will help you. Hmm. So which means positive activities keep you very yes, healthy yes. in mind and in spirit. Yes. Somebody actually wrote a comment in one of the you in the book there, the booklet. They said that um, you are forty in spirit, even though physically or physiologically you're eighty, but you actually look sixty, and then in your mind you're forty years in spirit. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think that was when your in-law. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going straight to the venue. What do we expect to have, Daddy? Uh, we we'll have to have a big crowd, you know, because uh, it's a joyous day. So a lot of people were invited, and some will be waiting there. May not, be <laughs> may, not, may not be able to come down here before now. So they will join us, and uh, we will just have to celebrate. Rice and food, very plenty. Yes. Everyone in the car, they look let all look excited. Do, let them do this, my children, mm. when I'm alive, not when I'm gone. <laughs> whatever, whatever they do, I wouldn't know. Right. You know. So I'm very, very happy. They should do it now. They should do now it is now. the time. Yes. Let's party! I'm, I'm Hello! And may God bless them. And may God bless them as well. Mm. Hello, how you doing? I'm fine. A pleasure to meet you. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Joy Taylor, a friend to friend to Statonia. Okay. So how long have you known Daddy? Uh, it's been long. Since when I was in Oli. That's how many years ago? Going to about, let's say, 12, 15. Ooh, that's a long time. Yes. So what is something about Daddy that strikes you most? Daddy is a hard-working person and a truthful person. <clears throat> that's what I mean. Wow. So if you have a message to share with all to Daddy, what would you say to Daddy? I would say, keep whatever you are doing 
keep doing it and God will richly bless you. Right. Okay. Have you read Daddy's book? Daddy has a book uh, out. He started to journey so far. No, no, no. You've not read his book, so I think you should get a copy. Okay, no problem. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Pleasure to meet you. And who is the lady in glasses over there? Please could you introduce yourself? Family. Oh yeah? yeah? How long have you known our daddy? Like five, like five, five years ago, about. Okay, have you seen daddy's book? No, not yet. You haven't yet no. seen it? Okay. So what is it about daddy that strikes you most? Uh, that is a father at all. He's a father to me too. And some have met him in family. He's always welcome me too. He's chef and he's back in school. He's trying not to fight. Okay. Right, fantastic. Thank you for being part of Daddy's 8th year celebration. We are on the road. Check us out. Guess where we're going to? We're going to the reception venue. You know how we do it in Ninja. It's plenty of food and chopping. Meanwhile, I can't wait to taste my own pan wine. Curtsy of Mike. <laughs> wait and see. celebrating the 80th anniversary of Daddy John Uwokolu and here with me is I am Mankiru Bebo Ni Uwokolu I am Daddy's um, third grandchild the third child sorry third, third, is it third? yeah third child you want to make him one 20 years ago yeah. <laughs> I'm his third child by his grace so we're here to celebrate him we're celebrating eight it's not really easy you know, for him to see our dad. I'm really, very grateful to God. Uh, he has entered this milestone. I pray that God will continue to upgrade him and uh, give him long life, good health, prosperity. Because it's one thing to be to be okay, and it's another thing to be, uh, you know, to be grounded with good health. So we pray that daddy will continue to be strong and healthy. You know, to see more of his, his great grandchildren. That guy say, huh? Okay. What is the one thing about history that Daddy told you about? You know, he wrote a book, right? Yeah. The journey so far. Yeah. So, what, have you read the book at all? Not really. Okay. But well, if you were going to ask Daddy a question in history that you find fascinating, or perhaps something he has told you in history that you find fascinating, what would that be? Yeah. It's a lot. Daddy is a very He's a, he's, a, he's a storyteller and um, you know, he's very good at 
um, it's very good in history, you know, but there's a lot, I can't really <laughs> point something. But that is good at um, telling us one or two things about his, his father and his grandfather. Just, you know, um, telling us how they, you know, how he helped his, his mom. To, you know, he, he's the last one of his mother. He, he always tells us how he helped his mom. Run. Then she was running a restaurant. How he was always there helping her to run the restaurant. And you know, she was, she, he was, sorry, he was the mom's uh, handbag. So they always, you know, together. Yeah, five and six. Yeah, five and six. So, a lot of things that I can't really say for now. There's a lot coming in from daddy's special daughter, his third daughter. And it's a good thing we're learning so much. And I think we still have more to tell later on yeah, while yes, the show is on. Yes. We're at the reception. You can feel us at the background. It's all happening live here in St. Patrick's College. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> Steady here, have it, Jack or two Have it once more. Steady, Jack or two over. The Patrick Old Boys Association and the last CWO and the Rita Zone. Have it. Oh, everybody smile, the best. Thank <laughs> you.